All right, we're back with more right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. It's powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. Andrew Filipponi joins me over at the fan. And right now we have Herb in Renfrew who wants to talk to us. What's up, Herb? Hey, Herb. Hi, Bob and Andrew. Thanks for taking my call. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Monday's Steel game seemed to be the best game the offensive line had all year. Kendrick Green didn't play for the first time all year, and, and this was their first game without their line coach, Adrian Clem. Do you guys think it was a coincidence? Uh, you know, who knows? No. Uh, uh, I think Chris Morgan is highly regarded, Andrew. I think he's here in his first year underneath of Adrian Clem, who's now gone. But I'll tell you what, I was impressed with John LaGlue. I know this is a, a stretch sometimes because this guy was just brought in. Hassenauer played in Alabama. I'm not surprised he can be effective there. Not but a still, lot. No, but I think but what he comes they through that pipeline. What they need to do, though, they have a lot of money to spend. And if it is a situation where they're not going to bring in much help a quarterback and they do rely on Mason Rudolph or a veteran guy, they're still going to need to shore up their offensive and defensive lines. They have a lot of money to do it, and I would start there. Well, let me ask you about the defensive line, Bob, because that just all of a sudden my antenna goes up. Are you under the impression that Tua and Naluwalu will not be Steelers next year? Well, I mean, it's a safe bet to think that the uh, Tua it. Because if they are, it, you've got louder milk and wormly. You don't need defensive yes, line you help do. if you're coming back. You always need help, no matter what. I still think you need help there. Um, but if know, those, are those your starters, Tua, it, Aluwalu, and, and Hayward? I don't know that Tua's going to play football again. I don't know that. I, I haven't seen, you know, he's, his knee should be recovered by now. He's just, you know, obviously not in a good place mentally, and I understand that. But if this doesn't change, I, I don't know if I would expect him back. Let's squeeze in another call here real quick here, Andrew, and that would be Carl in North Huntington. Carl, make it quick, please. Hello, Carl. Hey, Bob and Tony. Just wanted to make a comment on what Tony said yesterday. If the Steelers are going to go anywhere, they need a quarterback. Tony talked about that. We passed on Marino right in our backyard. We have Pickett. What do you yeah, think but they're gonna, take to get him? I think we should go after Pickett. The like problem Tony is it, it, they're going to have to move up in order to do that based on what I see. They're going to pick somewhere between 16 and 18. I don't think that would work. Andrew? Aaron Rodgers fell in the draft, Bob. Justin Fields did it. Could happen. Let's not okay. already You're rule it out. You're going to tell me, he's, to me, he's one of the top two in that draft, and there's so many teams and their quarterbacks. I mean, you could go on and on. Carolina, Atlanta, we're out of time, Andrew. I wish we had more. We need more, Andrew. Bye, Bob. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.